Article 15. Article 15 was submitted by petition. The motion reads, move that the town appropriate $3 million for the purpose of acquiring land and reconstructing and or rehabilitating buildings thereon for general municipal use, including the payments of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet the appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow said amount under the under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 73 and 73A of the general laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and is to issue bonds or notes of the town therefore, provided, however, that the funds appropriated hereunder shall be explicitly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds and notes authorized for this purpose from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half, so called, and further to authorize the select board to acquire by purchase, gift, and or eminent domain all or a portion or portions of parcels of land located at 319 and 321 River Drive, which parcels are described more particularly in Article 15. 15 of the annual town meeting warrant May 7, 2015, and to enter into any and all agreements and to execute any and all instruments as may be necessary or convenient to accomplish the foregoing. We have a motion. So I have a second. I have a so move. So it's second, rather. Okay, discussion. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm asking in the right place here. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. Um, is it appropriate to raise a question about the explanatory handout uh, that was submitted with this? Sir, you may ask any and all questions that come to your mind at this okay. time if they're, per <laughs> if, if they're pertinent to Article it is 15. Quite pertinent, yes. <laughs> Price includes demolition and removal of the greenhouses, boiler plant equipment, smokestacks, conveyors, trailers, unwanted coolers, etc. My concern is that those buildings should not be demolished, they should be dismantled, uh, offered for sale to something like the ReStore or that place on the, the Havenville line that, that buys and sells old building parts. Breaking up all that glass, putting all that stuff in the landfill seems to me totally avoidable, so I'm wondering um, if this could be phrased as dismantling rather than um, demolishing, and if that is appropriate, I'm happy to submit an amendment to that effect. Yes, Joel. Joel's, Joel will address that, Shell. Mr. Moderator, Joel Bard, Town Council. Um, um, let's be clear, it, it, the moderator said it's relevant to the general topic but it's not actually what's in the motion. So this is the proponent's description of what's going to happen at the site, and the motion is simply to authorize, first of all, to uh, appropriate $3 million, contingent on a two and a half vote, and to authorize the select board to acquire the parcel. What or parcels, what you're seeing here are the proponent's description of what they envision happening at the site. What will actually happen on the site, if it's voted, is that the select board will actually carry this out, not the petitioners. So um, the kinds of issues you raise, which of course are, are valuable and significant, would be issues for a select board meeting. Here we're really just addressing whether or not to acquire the parcel and whether to appropriate the $3 million. Okay, thank you, John. Jeff Moriarty, 22 Shamir Road. So the problem I see here is uh, basically the buildings that are up there, they're for a farm. We're trying to put a DPW and fire department in there. The buildings aren't going to be properly designed and um, built for an expanding fire department and DPW. Um, I see if we're going to build a new building, but if we're going to try and reuse the ones that they have up there, 
Um, I guess at this time I would ask if any of the people who signed the petition are in the audience and would like to speak this. I know Mr. Michkowski was involved in this, but unfortunately he is not here tonight. And I, I see Ted Johnson's here and he's the actual owner of the property. Um, but are any of the petitioners in the audience tonight? Who wish to speak to the article? Yeah, Brenda Fighting Cabots, 99 Rocky Hill Road. Um, Johnny had come to you know a, a number of us with this idea of um, this, this proposal, thinking that um, and I mean, where can you house the DPW? Because if you think back, the DPW um, initially was not supposed to be. Um, in the location that it is today. That was exclusively for the water department, sewer, the whole nine yards. So we are running out of uh, space, obviously. The other thing that we have to say with this is that, you know, there's an awful lot of, there's a, an awful lot that comes with this property. It is $3 million. Um, and that, I believe, is with an upgrade, a uh, later upgrade to um, facilitate the different things that, you know, fire department, the rec department, and there's also income, the possible um, on-site cell tower that will generate $25,000 a year income. I mean, there's, there are so many um, positives that go with, with this proposal. And unfortunately, uh, John Michkowski, you know, um, couldn't make it. Uh, but uh, he's done an awful lot of research. I'm not as well versed as he is. If, if you know, I don't know if there's a way that you know we we can maybe even postpone a little bit until he can. I'm not anybody's spokesperson. You right. know, this was just you know brought to me. I don't you know. I'm an average resident, and you know I. I well, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, very nervous, but. It does. It, it makes it makes a lot of uh, a lot of sense. I mean, he did do a lot of research on this. There's um, the value of the dollars for this property. I mean, look at the different purposes that they that you know we would have with this property if we were to if we were to purchase this. I mean, you know, the the, the proposed cost of the property, which would include demolition of all the greenhouses, the coolers. Included in the base cost is two million. Then it would be another million to upgrade, and, it, and he's saying that an additional million for further renovations that would be a long-term project covering over the next ten years. So another million dollars over the next ten years. Um, meanwhile, uh, many of the the features that I had just mentioned are ready for occupancy. I mean, you could put the highway department in there almost immediately. You got the rec department. We can uh, lease out space in this. I mean, there's there's many, and I'm not doing this this justice at all. Okay. But it's it's just to, to give a little bit of an idea. Right. Just to what I think it's a great value for the town myself. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Dave Tudor. David Tudor in 346 River Drive, uh, Chairman of the Municipal Buildings Committee. I wanted to provide a, a bit of clarification. Um, first of all, Mr. Michkowski uh, came to us about this uh, later, later last year. Uh, it really didn't afford us enough opportunity to uh, make a solid ruling on it from, from the standpoint of our committee. In fact, as, as a committee formally tonight, we have no recommendation for the town. Um, at the time, we had hoped to uh, per our fall town meeting uh, uh, non-binding vote to solicit uh, properties for uh, the purchase of a North Hadley or the construction of a North Hadley fire substation. Uh, that uh, RFP, if you will, has not yet gone out, so it's difficult for us to competitively price this property against others. In fact, we deemed not to discuss this property until we, uh, we solicit the, uh, the RFP. So uh, having spoken with the uh, select board, we did not issue the RFP at this time, and, and now we're faced with looking at this recommendation for this uh, petition. So as a committee, we proposed, or we, we came up with some pros and cons for 
the uh, property, and if it's okay, I'll read them right now. Um, after discussions with the fire chief, uh, Chief Spanknable did indicate that he could use the property immediately to replace North Hadley Village Hall. I'll let him speak to that for more detail if necessary, uh, but there would be a limited uh, amount of renovation for the property to, to use it at least at some capacity. We, we recognize beyond uh, immediate use we would have to make some renovations for it to really work properly. Um, the property does include a cellular tower, as was mentioned, for $25,000 a year of income. Um, there is a frontage parcel that may accommodate recreational use for the town. Uh, we have not yet looked at if a uh, soccer field or some other uh, property or use would fit there, but, but it, is, uh, it is possible. There is a generator and oil tank that could be repurposed for the DPW. Um, one, uh, one argument was that if we did go out for a, a new fire substation property, we, we could potentially, uh, potentially uh, be using virgin farmland for the, for the construction of a new building, whereas this is not, uh, it's not virgin farmland, it's already been developed. Um, and, and ultimately, I think if we deem that the DPW does need a new site and we do need to build a new fire substation for the town, uh, the construction cost, development cost of those two properties would be far in excess of the $3 million that we'd be spending on this. So those are the, those are the pros. Uh, the cons, um, the construction funding amount um, for the $1 million in excess of the $2 million purchase price in our mind is up unsubstantiated. Uh, we think it probably is higher than that, uh, but honestly we've not had any engineering estimates or any kind of feasibility studies to better understand that number. Um, at the time, there was no DPW director to validate the building uh, for DPW use uh, and to assess it against the long-term plans for, for the department. So we think it, it's a, a decent solution, but honestly, the, there's, a, there's a person of authority that should be telling us that. Uh, the building quality, as was mentioned, is likely not up to par uh, with what the committee's position would be to build a 50-year-plus longevity building. It's a Morton building, and uh, we're looking for building higher quality buildings uh, in this town, similar to the ones that we've inherited by our ancestors. Um, the building envelope, the walls, the roof are not energy efficient. Uh, the parcel includes 17 acres of APR land, which the town would have to manage. Um, the takeover of this parcel by the town means loss of future tax income from that property. Um, the solution is a short-term one for DPW and fire. Obviously, as I indicated, more money would be need, uh, needed to be allocated for long-term use to fully accommodate those departments. So things that we would have hoped to have gotten answers to just didn't have the time. Uh, one is, of course, if the sewer department does in fact need to expand over the entire uh, DPW property, uh, you know, what's the, what's the long-term needs of the sewer department? Do they in fact need the entire site? Uh, there's reports that indicate that is true, but uh, we don't have enough uh, consensus among our group whether the, the, the sewer department would in fact need the entire property, which would displace uh, DPW. Uh, we do, as, do not, as I said, in, uh, have comparative prices on new buildings and properties to compare this purchase against others. And uh, we did just recently shortlist consultants for uh, on-call architectural engineering service but we do not have feasibility plans for renovation. So, so we haven't sort of test fit everything in plans to, to see what's needed and what would, it would cost to upgrade it. And the, the demolition costs are uh, a bit questionable at this time, uh, in particular the greenhouses and how much of the greenhouse construction uh, demolition would be incurred by the town and how much by the property owner. So, so that's as a committee what we put together just to give you all a little background on the, on the article. Thank you. Uh, and Andy Morris, Reedman, 45 Roosevelt Street. First, I want to wish Mr. Michkowski a speedy recovery and hope he's back in town meeting again uh, soon. Um, I'm very uncomfortable with the way this whole thing is being done, the rush to spend $3 million. I never even heard of this before I saw the warrant. Were there any town hearings? Um, what's the assessment? It, it was a petitioned article, so he had the signatures. Um, they were certified by the town clerk. It literally guaranteed that it was on the warrant. It wasn't even up to the select board.
to put it on as soon as you have the amount the petitioners and you have the certified signatures that automatically goes to the warrant it, 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 to me it just seems like a snap judgment there's too many unanswered questions we don't even know the assessed value of the property um, I think we should uh, uh, vote no and take it up again in the next town meeting after further study thank you Michelle Morris Friedman 45 Roosevelt Street um, what was the Finance Committee's recommendation on this? I'm sorry, I didn't read that. I'll read them all to you. Okay. Cap Capital Planning recommended it 4-0-0. Finance Committee recommended against it. Against it, 3-0-3. Three, zero, three. No recommendation? No recommendation. And the Select Board makes no recommendation. 4-1. to one. Mr. Broders. I would suggest a lot of the towns have their fire stations, their ambulance, and the three of them all together. And that's what they should do because it would be all together and you would save on telephone bills and other expenses. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to hear from Mr. Johnson about how urgent this is. It seems to me like this is way, pr I came in predisposed to voting for it, but after hearing from Mr. Tudrin, I have a lot of questions and I think the town needs more time to study it. So I, I would like to know if there's any burning need to have this move forward or if it's something that could wait till fall town meeting when we've had a chance to really look into it. Okay, uh, to that point, shall uh, Ted Johnson, Former resident of the town of Hadley, I, I'm going to now allow him to speak to this uh, this motion. Uh, good evening. Uh, first, uh, I wanted to, uh, Mr. Tudor's concerns, uh, I can speak to the, the uh, buildings. Uh, Tilt it up. He, uh, he said that about the uh, building envelope and walls are not energy efficient. They were built to the existing uh, they were built to the uh, building code, so at the time, uh, of course, the building code changes all the time. Um, it said another thing. He said the parcel includes 17 acres of APR land, which the town would have to manage. <clears throat> they could sell the land, like before, like the uh, Seven Sisters uh, land was sold. That sold for fourteen thousand dollars an acre, but they could sell or they could lease that land out if they wanted to. Another thing he says loss of <clears throat> tax revenue, uh, tax income. Well, the uh, income from the, the, the cell tower, <clears throat> income from the cell tower would uh, make, uh, make, that a, uh, make that a wash. The um, one thing wasn't very clear, the cost of the demolition, uh, demolition we would pay for that. The, um, as far as the demolition and removal of the greenhouses, the boilers, the smokestacks, uh, uh, the machinery in there, the, unless the town wants some of that. Other than that, we would pay the, the entire cost of that. Mr. Horowitz asked about the urgency of this sale, Ted. Well, uh, that's up to the, uh, the town whether they want it or not. Uh, I, that's, that's up to them. I, I can't speak for the town. I'm not, a, I'm not a voter in town now. No, but I think, I think what Shell was asking was um, your intent is, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, because this is what I've been told, and so I'll tell it to everybody else, was that you're putting this parcel up for sale and you came to the town, or you want to bring it to the town first before you that, put it to the general public. That's correct. I have. Uh, uh, I do have entrance, entrance from two other parties, uh, but you never know till the, the deal's not done for a while yet. Uh, it's up to the town what they want to do. They get first shot at it. So if they that first shot could be in the fall, it Well, if they vote against it, I'm going to pursue uh, other, other, other buyers. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start pursuing it. Uh, that I'd have to see a, a, a vote. I mean, if it was, uh, if there were not, if there was not much in favor of it. Uh, I definitely would. If there's a lot of favor and they get a, a favorable vote, 
that's not a binding vote because they still have to vote for the uh, the funds anyway at a, at a future uh, for the borrowing at a future meeting. Right. Any any other questions or anybody would like to speak to Article 15? Fire Chief Spank Spanknable. Michael Spanknable, 52 Bay Road. Uh, because I was asked to by Mr. Trudor, and I'd just like to say that uh, I've been asked by numerous people whether this would be an appropriate fire station, and I think I made it very clear at the last, uh, the last town meeting how important it is that we have a North Hadley station. Uh, it is correct what Mr. Tudrin said, that tomorrow we could move all those trucks into that station. Is it, is it the perfect scenario? No. Would the trucks be able to drive out the door? Yes. Um, there would need to be a bit of uh, some substantial renovation done to the building. So that's something where I think there needs to be additional research done on, so you have the facts. But yes, t tomorrow we could drive the, the fire trucks in there. Uh, we voted at the last town meeting to sell North Hadley Fire Station and, park and the Park and Rec Department. So we're looking for a home for our, our trucks. And um, is that an op option? Yes, it is. Thank you, Chief. Can a move be made to um, postpone this decision and have, a, and have a special town meeting between now and fall? Pardon? Aye. Motion to table. If we table it, it's dead. If if you make a if you motion to table it, then the motion is dead it, at the end of town meeting. Right. But until we have more information. <clears throat> Until the citizens can make a better, more informed decision, I'd like to move this. Um, and if a decision has to be made before fall, maybe there could be a special town meeting. No, that doesn't make sense. What would you like to do, sir? You want to? I understand. Want to table it? You want? You want? You are you making a motion to table yes. the the article? Of the motion, yes. So I have a, I have a motion to table. Do I have a second? I second it. I have a motion and a second. So now we get to discuss if we should table this article. No, that's an amendment. He made a motion. Right, John? It doesn't have to be done right. Okay, so we can discuss the merits of tabling this. This motion, we have a motion to table, which requires, in order to table it, it's a two-thirds majority. But Brenda's going to speak. Yeah, um, excuse me. I'm, uh, it's not debatable. Okay, so we vote right now. Non-debatable. Non-debatable. Right now we're going to, this is a motion to table the article. If you are in favor of tabling the article, you need to support this motion right now by raising your green card. And it'll take two if you support the motion to table, if you're in favor of tabling the motion, you're going to raise your green card right now. And it takes two thirds. I have one question. It, it's not. Is it a procedural question? Or? Yes. Okay. Instead of tabling the motion, and believe me, I have no. <laughs> I have, you know, this is, you know, it's just my thoughts. Everybody tells me I'm there you go. short, <laughs> but um, can they vote to just, um, uh, how could you do the, just to delay it to do more research if the folks, and, and I understand if folks have um, questions and, and they need more research right. done, how could they do that without tabling it and, and that would cancel out the idea completely, correct? Yeah, I mean there's any, at a town meeting like this, you can make all kinds of motions. The gentleman behind you made a motion to table the article. 
as soon as the. But it's too late now. Well, <laughs> no, no, but for, for, for future. Speak in the microphones, please, sir. But for future understanding, what I like, my intention was to move this. And can you, can it be moved but not tabled, or does table just get rid of it? Yeah. Postponed. postponed. Move. It's, Give the residents an opportunity. Uh, and Mr. The, Moderator, the sir, per, perhaps I can just clarify. The question is before town meeting tonight. If you can't ask a future town meeting to, uh, to do something. I mean, if somebody wants to try to form a committee here, which I, I'm not recommending you have committees that can handle this, they could, somebody could bring it back. But the point is, Either you vote on it tonight or you vote it down. You can't say, I mean, you could try to say, I move that we vote on this in September or October, but you, but you can't do that. There will be a new town meeting, as was said before. Somebody could repetition it or a committee could take it up and bring it up when the committee is, has looked at it carefully and is ready to do it. But you, you can't, I mean, what you're, I think, searching for is some way to have it come back in September or October. The only way to do that is to repetition it. You can't craft a motion here that's going to make it magically spring up again in five months. But, but that's asking the citizenry and the town in some ways to make a decision with very little information. That's well, correct. That's correct. Right, so either, so based on the but information. So yes, no, it's yes. yes, no, and I mean, that's not. So if does it, that's not helpful to the town or the citizenry either. Well, it's up for the citizens to decide that they don't have enough information, in which case they'll vote no, or to decide that they have, have enough information and they'll vote yes. But, but we can't, I think you're looking for a middle ground that doesn't exist. Um, procedural question, is it in order for Chet to withdraw his tabling motion? I have, I, have a, I have a motion to table and I have a second. So we need to vote, we need to vote on that motion at this time, right? Who, who seconded the motion? Tom West. So if Chet wanted to remove his t motion to table in the second or agreed also, then we could do that. Correct, Joel? I would like to remove the motion I made to table. So, so this, the second or agree, so we get rid of, we remove the motion to table. So we're back to the original motion. Shell, what I do you have for me? I would like to submit the following amendment, and if the signature of a petitioner is required, one has volunteered. I am not a petitioner. No. Um, I move to amend the motion as follows, to study the possibility of acquiring the Montgomery Rose property for the purposes of use by DPW and fire, with report to the town um, sufficient in time for all relevant town bodies to report to the fall town meeting. Okay. Can I? Let's see if let's see if it passes the muster here, Shell. Mr. Moderator, I'm afraid that this is not a proper uh, amendment. Um, it's just to ask the town to study the possibility of acquiring the Montgomery Rose property. I mean, it, it, it's amorphous. I mean, it is trying to do what I was suggesting can't be done. I mean, it, it, um, it sort of puts it out there, frankly, in the ozone, just that the town study the possibility of acquiring it. I mean, I suspect what we're hearing is that town committees uh, expressed uh, a willingness to study it but didn't have the time. And uh, perhaps that's what will happen anyway if there is if there's interest. But I'm afraid this motion is, is not in order. 
Thank you. Mr. Freeman. Uh, Andy Morris Freeman, 45 Roosevelt Street. Boy, am I confused. Can we have a little review of what we've done so far? We, we, we're back at the original yes. article. The original motion. We, we vote the yes to buy the property or no not to buy the property. And the, uh, but to appropriate the money. Well, the, 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 the motion. Three million. What would happen? What would what would happen tonight is if it passes two thirds vote here, okay? Then it goes to the select board, and we and they would have to go through the official procurement process of a to the ballot first, and then it would it would go from here to the ballot, and then to the select board, and they would have to go through the procurement process to actually acquire it. So this is. The vote here tonight does not buy the property. Literally, you have to go to the ballot box, it has to pass there, and then it has to go through the select board and through the entire procurement process, which does not happen in a short amount of time. Um, so, I mean, this is, a, this is a very elongated situation that was brought forward by this petition. Okay, well, it'll never pass a referendum, so what's the point? Peter Mulady, 144 Mount Warner. Uh, I think you just summarized this quite nicely. This, a yes vote would start a procedure. A no vote would cut this out immediately. Right. Thank you. Jeff Moriarty, 22 Shimmer Road. I think the piece of property would be good for the fire department, the DPW, whoever's involved, but I just don't think how they wrote this um, petition um, is like the right way that we need to be going about it to everything for the buildings and this and that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dina Friedman, 16 Barstow Lane. So another question. If Hopefully we, I can answer. Okay. If, if the vote is yes and the process starts, does that, if everybody signs on to the process, does that obligate people to go through with the purchase or does it come back to town meeting afterwards? Is this the final say? What, what happens is, is if it were to pass tonight, there would then be a ballot question where you would have to go vote and if it passed at that ballot vote, it would then go to the board that I used to sit on, the select board, and they would start the procurement process for the purchase of the property. Am I correct? Right, but this vote does act, authorize the acquisition of the property. So there, it wouldn't come back to town meeting with reports? Okay. No. That's my correct, you're right. Um, Bianca Epstein, 77 Hockenham Road. Um, so I'm not sure that I remember um, what the total cost would be to the town because the pro we're talking about um, the, the sum for just buying the property, which is around three million. But then on what two million? But then on top of that. Um, the buildings would need to be either augmented or rebuilt um, and I don't know if there was an estimate of the construction costs so that we can get the whole figure, um, get some approximation of the totality of the cost to the town. Thank you. Well, to, to, I think I can answer that. Um, to touch on what what you have the material in the back of the room, the handouts, I'm sure you have those, and, and David Tudrin has touched on it. And in my former life, I sat through these in capital planning. Um, the $3 million that's in the motion, if the way it's broken out is $2 million to purchase the property and another million dollars to renovate it. But like David has says, there's no itemized 
detailed report that says what you're getting for a million dollars for renovating it. So, I mean, there's issues with that. But right now, it's $3 million, and it would be to buy it and to renovate it. And that's how they broke it out. Mr. Devine. The select board doesn't have a recommendation on this for the very reasons that you're just talking about. You know, we, we try to, to make the best decisions that's available for everybody. I think they'd hang us on town meeting floor if we came to you without any numbers as to what the finite cost was going to be for a building. We have a building, it's available to us now. A number was pulled basically out of a hat of the million dollars to renovate that. Many of the people who have looked at that building think that that is far under what actually would be needed to be spent in order to bring that building up to code and be accessible and usable by the community. Michael said he could move in there tomorrow, but I don't believe there's a sprinkler system in there, Michael, that would allow our, our uh, fire chief to allow you to move in tomorrow. Um, I, I just think that there's a lot of money here and a lot of questions that we have that, don't, that aren't answered, and we're asking today uh, basically to give the authorization for $3 million to be spent. If we're back here in a year and a half and we said we thought it was going to be three, but it ended up being 5.7, where are we? We don't know. We need these things, numbers looked at. We need them finite. We need to be able to present them to you and say, this is the number that it's going to be. This is what's going to bring the buildings up. This is what it's going to cost us to run a sewer line. This is what it's going to cost us to pave the property. This is what it's going to cost us to put overhead garage doors in there. And this is what... <laughs> We do know that number. And I appreciate what Mr. Michkowski did with this. It was a monumental task, but we don't have enough information at this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, in my humble opinion, to be able to cast a vote to say, yes, let's go spend $3 million. That may turn into five. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Devine. Um, can you hold on one second? Yeah. You, both, everybody at the microphone has currently spoken, and I just want to make sure if anybody else has any input or question who hasn't spoken yet, I'd like to give them a chance. If you could please move to the front of the line to the microphones. Tom West, 164 South Maple Street. This is a bad idea. I think the best thing Mr. Johnson could do is sell it to somebody that can raise food there. Think about this. You got the highway department way up the north end of town. What are we going to do when we need it down the south end of town? People, this is just a big anchor around your neck. A lot of money is going to be involved here that we don't know about. Thank you. I'm Camilla World Peace with 24 Laurel Drive. As you said, this is not the final vote. I mean, this would only keep it open so we would have a chance to study this more. Um, I have talked to John, and I believe him when he says this is the best offer the town has been given in the last 35 years. He's been in business. He knows the water department. He knows the DPW. He's always been, like, involved knowing what's going on. And I understand that the... Um, where the, where the DPW is right now, it was bought exclusively for the water treatment uh, plant, and that water treatment plant is going to have to be expanded. And what do we do then? Uh, at least this property is um, already sort of built up. It's not on the aquifer, and we would not be taking up any other farmland. Thank you. Thank you. John Silvestro, 157 Rocky Hill Road. I move the question. Mr. Silvestro has moved the question. It is. Do we have a second to that? Well, I guess so. So at this time, this requires a two-thirds majority. All in favor of the petition. All in favor of moving the question, raise your card. That's two-thirds. All right. Any opposed to moving the question? No? Okay. So now we have a two-thirds majority to support the petition. So if you're in favor of supporting the petition, raise your green card. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 
12, 13. I count 13. All opposed. I believe that's like 130. Extensions? No, we don't count extensions here. There's no line here. Motion fails. So, does that mean? We're passing over Article 16. Can we do that? Edwin Matusko, 160 Stockbridge. What's the uh, microphone on? Can you pass over an article that was brought up by petition? Right. He's right. I'll take a I'll take a motion to take no action on Article 16. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Opposed. Okay, unanimous. 